100% Chelsea, Chelsea nil, Southampton nil, dead rubber, boring, you know, it's not a lot else I can say about that to be honest mate. Shit, just shit, I'm just, uh, this, I, I've put it in the group chat that we're all in, this generally was one of the worst performances I've ever seen from Chelsea. I, do you not remember those back to back nil nils last season? Uh, do you know, this feels the same, this really does feel the same. Do you not uh, remember Bradford? Oh yeah, no, actually, yeah, I remember that one. That was, that was, that was bad, yeah, we played the right that game for eighty minutes, and then we just fell apart. Stop. We fell apart. Stop. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> no, look. Um, there's only one way you can say this. Half the players that are out there today, they look knackered. They look tired. They look bored. They look disinterested. I, this probably is quite harsh to hear, but there's a fair few of them that I don't think really care. I. I can't believe I'm saying Get that. Get their paycheck and leave at the end of the week. Go home. Do you know what I generally think? Yeah. Um, I think one thing that doesn't help is obviously the cr- tight Christmas fixtures that we all know and love. It what makes it's what makes British football so good. I I really enjoy it. Say so you're not going to shout for a winter break here, are you? No, 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 no. I'm not about. That. What I am going to shout for is squad depth mm. because we've had way too many people being injured. You know, we've got two strikers, both of them as useful as each other. Giroud being injured and he's still as useful as Morata normally full fit he's it's just it really is boring and I think the players are disinterested do you know it's really weird I get the kind of vibe that Sarri's like lost the dressing room already which makes I know it's a big statement but you can't I get, I get no, 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 watch no, no. out for the keyboards oh no I get the feeling I get the feeling I just don't know I saw I was sitting in East Lower today I saw that there was a comment made between Dave and Sari at the end of the game where Dave's going I should be going in for this I should be going and trying to get my head on the corner and Sari went no and he was annoyed and there was a little bit of conflict I, I, just, I don't know why that is and I think it's probably Sari's inexperience in the Premier League which he'll get better with and he'll learn and grow over time would you, would you, would you say that uh, maybe it's just the system that needs developing a bit more yeah I, I, I think it's I think it's about cleaning things out and there's a there's past that's been there you know there's p- players that have been there previously and been brought by other managers and people that aren't necessarily sorry system and sorry's way and whatever but sorry himself also needs to realize that this sorry ball style you also do need a bit of Premier League know-how around it as well you know someone I keep saying this because I love the geezer Diego Costa a forward like that who links up with the fast forwards that I know Sarri wants but still has the aggression and the fight and they're willing to go I want to get involved I want to get stuck in this game and I want to go and not hurt people but I want to go and get I want to go and wind people up and we haven't got that in a centre forward we haven't got anyone in the team really that is anywhere like so with it being the month of buying being able to buy players who do you want Wilson Mm-hmm. Careful, mate. So you and Scott are going to get absolutely slaughtered for saying Callum Wilson. <laughs> I I agree. I'd like to yeah. see Callum Wilson, maybe. Why? See if it's here, go, it comes in with my thinking as well. <laughs> well, he's better than the other two. That's a start. Um, <laughs> no, we need a goal scorer. We need a goal scorer. And unfortunately, well, fortunately for Bournemouth, he scores goals. He does score goals in a team that's not brilliant. I'm not gonna. We're not gonna sit here and go that they're the best this and the best that. They aren't brilliant, but they get goals, and a lot of them come through him. You'd like to think in the right system when he played for England as well. The min- the minimal game time he got, he still found a way to get his goal around decent players of a better caliber than what is at Bournemouth. I think he's a good option. He's English as well. He's English. That counts. That's big. Not, not in a Brexit way, but just because it helps with the quota. <laughs> no, it, it, it's very big. He's English, he's got experience in the Premier League and other football leagues as well, because you need that experience in England. English football is very different to anywhere else in the world. Very, very different. Icardi's the name that keeps getting mentioned, and he was over here with his agent before Christmas and all this shit. He ain't going to come in January. He was just buying his own some presents because it was his missus. I think he went to Nike Town and just had a spree. You know, like, uh, I feel, yeah, that's what I feel, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think we should overthink it, but... Look, I'd like to see Icardi come to Chelsea. He ain't going to come this window. No way he's going to come this window. But still, you have no idea and no guarantee that he is actually going to play well in English football and he's going to be anywhere near the same player. He's, um, he's scoring a lot of goals and he's oh, done yeah. it continuously. I know he's scoring goals, but is he going to do it in English football? Morata was scoring goals. To be fair, I know, but Morata wasn't doing it continuously. Icardi's yeah, doing yeah, it continuously yeah. and he is very physical. He is a bit of a brute. The, the okay. movement he makes as well. 
he's a sublime centre forward, quite frankly. Oh no, he's great. I love him. I want him at Chelsea, but he is not going to come this window. Oh yeah, obviously. I think that he is possibly a future star of Chelsea, actually. But the one problem we've got is we need to get European football. And to be honest with you, playing like that, I'm not sure we're going to get it. I hate to say that, but I'm not sure we're going to get it. We have to be very careful. We need someone in this window that can score goals. Because goals get you points, points get you in Europe. That's what happens. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you need... <laughs> Almost feeling a bit peaky. He was uh, over in the corner. But he seems much better now. <laughs> <laughs> just, those, just, just, the, no, just those little quips that's staying in I'm your boss do as you're told <laughs> points make prizes you are right and the prize is European football and better players we've just signed Pulisic we need to continue that and we need to we, we need to rebuild the team we do unfortunately it's that time we do need to get fresh legs in but the main thing we have to do is make sure we still have that big 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 pull of being an English club in the Premier League playing in Europe because no no fucker will ever want to come to us if we have not got that. I'm sorry. It's true. If you want that, you go and play for Man City or a handful of others. If you haven't got European football, you don't attract the big stars.